What's going on, YouTube? This is your neighborhood DraftKings addict bringing you my top picks for Monday's main MLB DK slate, guys. All right, guys, so we got a nice, juicy 10-game slate today. All right, shout-out to the last uh, NBA video, guys. Uh, those picks were fire. If you watched the video and you played them, you should be very happy today. All right. So, back to MLB, though, guys. So, uh, tomorrow is a two-game NBA slate, guys. I personally don't play any slate smaller than four. So, hey, you know, if you guys are playing, good luck, man. You know, follow me on Twitter, all right? The link to my Twitter account is in the description, guys. Uh, maybe shoot me your lineups and let me know how you're doing. But uh, me personally, I'll just be uh, watching from the sidelines. All right, but I will be getting into some MLB tomorrow, guys. So, on the screen, you're going to see Draft Dashboard. That's an app that I use to... Do some of my MLB research, guys. So, if you would like my personal player pool, all right, you want to go into the description, click on the link that says seven day trial for draft dashboard. And once you sign up for an account, it's a seven day trial for one buck. All right, guys, if you like it, keep it. If you don't, cancel it before the seven days. You won't pay more than a buck. All right, guys, but once you sign up, guys, if you go to watch players list like this and you click on watch DK Addicts picks, all right, guys, so what I'm going to do is tomorrow after all the lineups come out, I'm going to go in and I'm going to decide which plays I like, you know, which the teams are attacking, which ballparks, all righty, and which pitchers are going to be the Shelly candidate. And then once I do that, you'll have my player pool, guys, so maybe an hour or so before lock, you know, you want to go into your account, click right here and click on watch DK Addicts picks and any picks that I have watched will show up in your watch list as well. And then you can go over here to the lineup optimizer, Click on Lineup Optimizer, and it'll optimize your lineup, guys, where you can even go in here and update it if you want to. So let's say you don't like Devin Travis. you got 14 available options to upgrade, so take your pick. Ooh, I like DJ LeMahieu tomorrow, by the way. All right, but anyway, you get the point, guys. If you like the lineup that it builds for, you click Save Lineup. All right, and then once you get the lineup saved, you can go action to your Save Lineups, and you uh you can uh, download the DK uh, uh app right here. I mean, download, export it for uh, DK. All right, guys, so... That's Draft Dashboard. Check it out, guys. But on to my top picks, guys. So here's my top picks on the on the board, guys. All right. So as we know, lineups can change tomorrow, guys. If you look at the lineups for tomorrow, Milwaukee got a gang of players who are listed as day-to-day, -day, quote unquote. So right here. See, questionable, questionable, questionable. All right, guys. So make sure you check for the confirmed lineups tomorrow once they come out. Right now, looking at the data and looking at the history, guys, this is what uh, this is what I'm liking. All right, so. First off, we want to go ahead and go with Thor. We want to get DeGrom in the lineups, guys. All right, he's in a, in a nice matchup. Last time he played this team, you know, he put up 21 draft king points and only had one earned run. All right, so I like Thor, all right, in New York. So let's let's go with it, guys, all right? So I like him. He has a decent enough size, and he's only 11.5K, guys. So I like DeGrom because I play mostly cash games, so. All right, and then Blake Snell, guys, I like this guy, man. If you look at his uh, his actual um, um, splits, he hadn't played Texas yet, guys. Look at, the, look at the games he's played, guys. He put up 31 versus the White Sox. Now, New York, that's a tough pitch for any left-hander, guys, all right? Let's just be honest, all right? So, but look at Boston, man, you know? He only he held them to zero earned runs. All right, zero home runs. He had a couple of uh, ground balls right here, guys, you know, Um a couple of Ks. There's only two Ks, but again, this is a a different team when he's going up against Texas in Tampa Bay, guys. So, all right, let's go ahead and lock him in. So, I like Snell. Next up, let's go ahead and go with uh, Matt Olson, guys. I like Matt Olson at home. All right, versus the pitcher that he's facing, guys. So, Olson has a .407 ISO. Versus the pitcher that he's facing or the hand in this other pitcher, guys. If he gets the bat to the ball, it's, it may it may leave the park, guys. All right, this guy has two home runs this year already. Okay, guys, but I like Matt Olson in this spot. Again, a .407 ISO, guys. So if he gets his hands on the ball, man, it's over. All right, but I like Matt, Matt Olson, guys. All right. Travis Shaw, all right, I like him uh, as uh, versus uh, Cincinnati and Milwaukee. All right, so... Again, this team has a high strikeout rate, guys. All right, so I, I understand that. But Travis Shaw has a pretty nice uh, ISO of a two point um, uh, point two four eight. All right, versus the pitcher handedness right now, and he's batting in the middle of the order. 
And I like his chances of getting one and knocking it out the park. All right, they're playing in Milwaukee, which is extreme, a extreme hitter's ballpark. I think it's like the number two or three um, best ballpark for hitters, guys. So I like Travis Shaw's chances of uh, getting some hits or some uh, RBIs because you see a couple of games ago, he had a couple of uh, second base hits and a couple of uh, uh, runs batting in, so 14 and 10. So he's on a 3.4K, but I like him, again, with a 2, 4, 8 ISO which is above average, guys, great to almost excellent. So, all right, this guy here is my value play right here. All right, he's supposed to be batting um, third or second in the lineup from my understanding. Yeah, second. He's projected to bat second. All right, he's on a 3K. All right, if you look at him, uh, again, this team is only projected to hit four, four runs, right, but they're in an extreme hitter's ballpark, a.k.a. Milwaukee, guys. But it's a righty-lefty matchup, and uh, this young man, his information, let's see what he got here. We look at his ISO. Versus lefties. Good Lord. Come on now. All right. So, all right. But I like his spot because, again, he has a nice history versus Suter. And uh, he's on a 3K, guys. Batting second. All right. So, he's moving up in, in, in the rotation because he normally backs at the bottom. All right. But I like his uh, chance of putting up uh, a nice amount of DraftKings points. All right. So, again, as you see right here, he put up 17 versus St. Louis. 15. 10, all right, so this guy can can get a couple of hits and get on base, all right, and get you some DraftKings points, maybe get an RBI, all right, but I like his chances of scoring, again, only 3K. All right, and then Pierce is, is batting leadoff versus the Shelly candidate of the night. All right, that would be Mr. Uh, Co- how do you say his name? Colger, Colger or some crap? Where is he at? There you go, right there. All right, Scoggling, all right, left-handed pitcher. In Toronto, all right, facing a team full of righties, guys, or switch hitters, all right. That's death for the guy, man, all right. He's a left-hander facing against uh, all these right-handed batters, guys. But I like Steve Pierce. He's batting off the top, all right, 3.1K, which is not expensive. He already has three home runs, as you can see, all right. And Pierce's ISO is a .297. That's elite status, guys, all right. At least status. All right. Anything over 0.240 is, is considered uh, great. And anything over 0.250 is, is elite. So I like Pierce batting lead off. He should get five to six chances at the uh, at this pitcher. All right. With the uh, implied runs um, in excess of five. If I remember correctly. Yeah. At five or above. So again, like that matchup. And again, this is an extreme hitter's ballpark. All right. So. All right, so that's my top plays, guys. Again, it leaves you about 4300 for each play, guys. So if you want to get you a couple of nice outfielders right here, guys, you could do so. Uh, Chris Davis in a good spot. Hoskins versus Tehran. You know, this guy here is liable to, you know, put up 25 DraftKings points in one game. All righty, so uh, who else is good on the board? Gregory Polanco, he's in a good matchup. In a righty-lefty matchup, this guy can smash. He put up 28 right here. All right, so... 19, 15, 18, so Polanco is in a good spot. Uh, Nelson Cruz has a nice uh, BVA, a uh, batter versus pitcher, BVP versus uh, Keiko, I think his name is, the guy that's pitching for Houston. So um, that's, a, that's a play that you can look at. Like I said, I already talked about Chris Davis. All right, we got a couple of good plays on the board, guys, but if you go to the oh, right here, Dickerson, he's in a good spot as well versus Marquez. But anywho, guys, if you want my player pool, draft dashboard, seven-day trial, one buck. Link is in the description, guys. Good luck on tomorrow's MLB slate. Like I said, I'm not playing NBA. All right, guys. So, all right, next big NBA slate, four-game slate or more. All righty. I'm going to do a nice little contest, guys, but uh, details will be included in the video when that video comes out. I'll let you guys tomorrow. See you on the next video.